Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH. Uh, today we have a Sado 170R. Okay, um, this engine is going to be converted to gasoline, but first I'm going to go through the setup for uh, Glow. Okay, so what's included in the kit? A kit will have a three cylinder CDI, three spark plugs, quarter 32 that they will replace the Glow plugs, a magnet ring, yeah. That is, it's marked with 30 degrees before top dead center. Okay. And a sensor holder. So that will be the setup for... Oh, sorry. And two screws. Okay. And four washers. And I'm going to explain the reason for the four washers. Now, for the gasoline, all you got to do, take, loose that screw off. Take the needle valve. Take the needle valve off, loose the two set screws here, pull this out, and then you take off the carburetor. Get the oops, it's on the floor. Uh, and then pull the car the carb out, insert this one here, put the ring from O-ring from that one in this, stuck it in, and that will be one thing. Now, one, the second thing that I have not tested, but this engine is going to be the guinea, guinea pig. It's a brand new back housing, okay? This brand new back housing, it has a totally different configuration that it will allow fuel to go more efficient and uh, it will distribute the fuel even on all the, the cylinders and also we will increase the power. So this will be the guinea pig, uh, actually full credit for this, it goes to Blair, my buddy in, Aust in Australia. Alright, so let's see, that's that. Okay, so now let's start with the installation. We don't need a CDI module, we get it away, we don't need a gasoline carburetor, we put that away. Alright, and apparently... I dropped a screw too. Lucky me. Yeah. Alright, so let's take this off. The engine is going to get timed 30 degrees before top dead center when the magnet gets first in touch with the, with the sensor. Okay? So I previously took off the screws from here and, and guess what? I will have to get another screw because I got that one. And it's a 12 millimeter long. Metric 3, 12 millimeter. Put this back. So, first time, take the screws off. And reason for those four washers. It needs to have one, uh, actually two of them, under under the sensor. You put the bolt in, and the two washers. The next bolt, go through the hole. And it's hard to see, but you got the idea, okay? So once you put them in, okay, like that. What that will do, it will space the sensor up a little bit because it's gonna touch the. Let me see. Okay. All right. After you do that, you use a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench and you tighten it down. Okay. Don't go tight all the way, just snag them one by one. And don't go crazy tight because it's only three millimeters and two things can happen. Snap the screw or round the hex inside of the screw. All right. Another thing you can do, you can put some blue Loctite. Now, we put the magnet ring. Alright, that's the way it goes on. It slips over the 
prop drive. You see, it goes nice and easy. Now, I time previously, I used uh, one of my uh, piston stops that you guys seen in the video. And I'm fully stopped now because I timed it before. I'm fully against the piston stop, which I know it was 30 degrees before top the center. You slip the ring over. Okay, you have one, two, hmm, three magnets. Okay, that are three green magnets and a red one, actually. Where it says 30 degrees, that's cylinder number one. You slip that over, and then if you want additional, you can get a, a piston timing kit, okay? So be careful how you uh, plug the sensor into the device. This has to be on top like that. And then we'll need to power it up. All right, so once this, in theory, okay,
Thank you.